Hi, uh, so I'm now going to um, talk about um, reversing the order of integration and I'll try to put as much details as you need to have when you are talking about reversing uh, the order of integration of any given uh, double integral. So uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that um, it is worth noting that when um, when reversing the order of integration, you just need to focus your attention on the limits of integration. Don't focus your attention on the integrand. So what it is is that you are given, let's say, a to b, uh, then c to d, then you have your integrand right here. And let's say here something like maybe dy dx or it can be dx dy, either, uh, either, either ways. So when you are trying to reverse the order of integration, you are trying to um, you have to focus on these limits that you have here you cannot just go ahead and swap and say okay this is now going to be c d then a b then here you have like maybe if it was dy dx meaning that you now have like dx dy it's not really as straightforward as that sometimes because those limits sometimes they are more like they are functions and when you sketch them you observe to see if you just went ahead and swap them it was going to be uh, kind of like something a bit different okay so as I said not to say uh, when you're reversing the order of integration you just need to focus your attention on the limits of integration if it's possible sketch all the limits to have a clear picture of what you're really talking about and what you're doing okay so I'm just going to use an example I'm not going to integrate you can do the integration for yourself for both the original function and the one that I'm going to reverse then you try to compare the two answers and see if um, what we have actually discussed is um, uh, is making sense okay so um, let me give myself um, this simple integral right here uh, let me say 0 to 1 uh, then uh, x to 1 then let me have a rational expression that is 1 over 1 plus y squared um, dy dx okay so I want to reverse the order of integration so remember I said it's a uh, it's actually convenient if you were to sketch the limits of integration or the region of integration which are the which are the limits then you see what you actually have okay so remember these are just like you can sketch them in 2d2 uh, for simplicity purposes so you have your y-axis and you have your x-axis here so I have like four functions so uh, two uh, where um, you have y is equals to 1 and we have y is equals to x for the lower limit which is this one then for the x you have x to be equals to 1 for the upper limit then x to be equals to 0 for the lower limit so uh, for this one here is the one that's that I need to as well as that one so we can come here and say I can put up one there like that I can put up another one like that uh, or maybe before I do that let me put this one up so that I can come ahead and do this uh, let me actually use different colors for uh, this is going to look a bit attractive and to be to be easier to differentiate okay so that's what we have so this one right here is y is equals to 1 this one right here is uh, y is equals to x then uh, this one right here is x is equals to 1 then the y axis itself is x is equals to 0 okay so the region of integration that we are talking about is actually this one right here okay so looking at the order that we first use which is dy dx and using this format of the limits what is simply telling us is is that uh, we had more like a horizontal uh, a horizontal strip like this which I can indicate as dy okay so the way in which we got these limits is that we said okay uh, you're trying to integrate over this area okay the bottom part that you have in the y in terms of y like when you're trying to go in this direction from the bottom to the top the the bottom part that you have is this function right here which is y is equals to uh, y is equals to x that's why we have w x at the bottom here like you're trying to integrate over this area like uh, 
you're trying to integrate this area that you have right here so you take a, a horizontal strip just a small part so the bottom part you observe that is y is equals to x then the top part that you have is y is equals to one so that's why we had those limits there then all the same in terms of the of the x-axis you are trying to go in this direction so they don't need you don't actually need to put up a strip so just start from this point you're ending at that point that's why starting from zero which is x is equals to zero to x is equals to one which is this one right here okay so now want to reverse that so instead of taking a horizontal strip i'm going to uh, i'm going to take a vertical strip okay something like that so I'm trying to integrate over this area so what do I do I look at what I have at this point so at this point in the x-axis I have what I have x is equals to zero then as you go towards this side you're not going to reach you're not going to pick this one which is x is equals to one it's more like you are going to be limited by what by this function which is what which is uh, y is equals to x okay but instead of writing in terms of y put, make x is the formula meaning it's going to be x is equals to y that would be your upper limit then what about in the y in the y just starting from this point here which is your what which is your uh, your zero okay and you as you are going as high as what as y is equals to one which is this point so you're starting from that point going that point there okay so what does this now tell us what this tells us that uh, we can now go ahead and write our equivalent uh, reversed uh, order of integration so in the we either had in we either had dx here but it will be dy so in the y we are starting from 0 to 1 then in the x we are starting from 0 to y then we still have our function which is 1 over 1 plus y squared uh, dx dy so nothing changes about the integrand the only thing that changes is the order of integration and that is when the limits change okay so this is basically how uh, you change you reverse the order of integration and it's very important that you keep in mind to say you just have to sketch this in 3d and try to observe from what happened at first that's why I try to explain the way it was how they got the limits of this one then after that I use the same um, way of thinking for me to get the new order of integration that is a reversal of what you had in um, in the first place okay so this is actually how we go about this question uh, and that will be all in this video thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one